We're Joanna and James. Come with us for a wander around some of our favourite parts of the City of London, once known as Londinium in Roman times. The Guildhall Art Gallery is a recent happy discovery for us after a bit of prospective googling for pre-Raphaelite paintings. It's such a welcoming, peaceful place and, as you can see, has many extraordinarily beautiful paintings, with those from the Victorian era divided into sections such as love, imagination, home and travel. It's also free to visit, like many London galleries and museums. we had tea on Bow Lane, which is an absolute foodie paradise. It's particularly lively during the city lunch hour. A little way southeast of the Guildhall is the impressive bank area, with its many magnificent buildings, including the Bank of England and Mansion House. Our particular favourite is the Royal Exchange, astonishing on both the outside and inside.
You can even have afternoon tea at Fortnum & Mason's here for £35, which looks a delightful treat and is definitely something to add to the wish list. It's always worth looking up in London. You never know what you might see. Craving more trees and greenery, we headed for St Paul's Cathedral and its nearby festival gardens with lawn and fountains. The iconic St Paul's Cathedral, famously designed by Sir Christopher Wren, stands on Ludgate Hill, the highest point of the City of London. We were incredibly lucky to be there just as the bells were pealing at the end of the annual Florence Nightingale Commemoration Service, usually held at Westminster Abbey, honouring nurses and midwives all over the world. The atmosphere was electric and so full of warmth and joy. It was such a privilege to witness. We ate our picnic on the steps of St Paul's, then walked to the Millennium Bridge, over the River Thames to the South Bank, with amazing views of the City of London.